Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. So now I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 onto the M.2 SSD from Western Digital. And now for this particular motherboard, I have to hit F12 to get into the BIOS. I'll zoom into the screen now. So in here, we come over to Advanced, and we go over to PCIe Configuration. I may be wrong here. I am wrong. So let's uh, search where it may be. SATA, no, no, no. USB, onboard device configuration. Here we go. So, if you remember, we installed it into the M.2 Socket 3 One device. So, let's go ahead and enable it here. So, for that, I just press Enter. And now, let's see if it shows up. So, we just hit Escape. Come back in just to make sure it's enabled. Okay, it is enabled. So, now let's see if it shows up under Boot Device. Uh, not yet, it looks like. So, I'm going to go ahead and move up my thumb drive, my Windows 10 thumb drive, to the first boot option. I'm going to go ahead hit F10 to save and exit and press yes. And now I'm going to go back into the BIOS just to make sure it shows up. We'll just enter the BIOS and let's verify that it does show up. Set a device configuration. We can see uh, it's not showing up here. Though now that we enabled that other one, we can see that serial port 4 and 5 have been disabled. This should be... no, this is not it. So what I might end up having to do, since it seems to disable two of the PCIe slots, is I'm um, going to have to uh, get a larger drive. But aside from that, uh, we'll just go ahead and boot off of this. So we'll just hit F10 to save and exit. And now we're going to boot from the thumb drive. Okay, we're going to do 64-bit setup. Okay, and next, install now. Now I'm going to go ahead and need my key, just in case you haven't seen it. It's a little binder. Open it up, and here is your key. I'm not going to show it to you, of course, but it's here. I'm going to turn it around and enter my key. Accept the license agreement. Make sure to read through all this. Very important information. Got it. Thanks. I agree. Now we do custom install Windows only advanced. Okay, and now let's look for that 500 gig. So this was the one that I was using before for my boot drive. So we'll scroll down. And this is the unallocated 500 gigs. That is my M.2 device. So I'm going to go ahead. It is a 512 gigabyte. This one is just a 500 gig, so you can see that extra space shows up. So now I'll just click next. All right, now it's gonna go through all the installation. This should take no time whatsoever. All right, so that took probably under five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart now. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my thumb drive.
Now we'll do customized settings. You could do express, but I prefer to see what I'm getting myself into. Customize settings. Personalization. Nope, I don't want to send information to Microsoft. You may want to, but I particularly don't. Send typing. No, thank you. So this part, let apps use your adver advertising ID for experiences across apps. So if you don't, Microsoft is going to send you irrelevant information. They're still going to send you stuff but it's gonna be irrelevant to what you like to watch. So I'll just leave that enabled and let Windows apps request your location, including location history and send Microsoft. So I'll do that. no. And next, use smart screen. No, that is so annoying. Use page prediction to improve. Uh, no, because it'll send my, my data to Microsoft. Not that I do anything wrong on here, but you know, Automatically connect to suggested hotspots. I'm on a desktop with no Wi-Fi, so no. Automatically connect to networks, nope. And send error and diagnostic information to Microsoft. Let's put no for now. We can always change that later. We click next. Now it's probably gonna reset. And yep, you do have to do this twice. Customize settings. They just want to make sure you did it right. <laughs> Same thing we did before. Hi. Thanks. Save me some time there. That's definitely good to hear. Now mind you, the performance on this SSD will improve once I install all of the drivers. Regardless of that, all of this installing and all that good stuff will take under 20 minutes, which is pretty awesome. Let's start. All right. So that's it. We're in Windows. Everything under 20 minutes. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.